Well guys, it's that time again. Time for another siege battle and we are back visiting Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I love the red clay castles and obviously this is in the Teutonic expansion. This is a 3 vs 2 siege battle and I'm so excited for this siege battle. You want to know why? You want to know why? Well, I'll tell you why. Manganel. That's right guys, we have a Manganel in the battle. I hope, I pray to the great Juju of the Mountain that we get to see this Manganel slaughter a bunch of troops. I really do. Even if it slaughters its own troops, it's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead, check out the armies. We'll start with the attackers, that's usually what I do. We'll start with the Teutonic Order, commanded by Tactical Pizza. That's right, your pizza will show up right on time doing hammer and anvil, just so tactical. Hey, you know what, it's not as good as Pizza Planet, but I would I would eat it tactical pizza. I'd be like, oh, this pizza is so tactical. And it, All right, anyways, uh, let's check out his army. Um, I like his army, I guess. I mean, the, I mean, he's got the mangonel. He could bring an army full of peasants and bring one mangonel. I'd be like, yeah, that's a that's a pretty solid army there. I like it. It's you know, it's good all around. <laughs> the mangonel of justice. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out the other armies here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on over here? It looks like we have a little cav engagement. Uh, we do have some mounted crossbowmen getting some early harass off on the Holy Roman Empire. So maybe we'll wait a little bit before we finish off these army comps because I don't want to miss a single second of action. We also over here, oh, we got nothing going on here. Just a destroyed wall. Let's see, are they gonna run down these mounted crossbows? Don't chase crossbows, my friend. Yeah, never chase crossbows with heavy cav. That, that is not a good decision, but you know, he's going all in. So I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this going all in effectiveness here. Going straight through this choke point, they don't even care. They don't even care, look at this. You know, arrows are flying all over the place, I don't care. We want these damn mounted crossbows off the field of battle. And there they go, they got them engaged in melee. That's that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Uh, they're dying and getting slaughtered left and right. I mean, look at all these arrows crashing down. Uh, but, you know, they might be able to finish off this uh, mounted crossbow unit. These brave Imperial Knights. Oh, here comes a charge from the Lithuanian. Lithuanian player. Okay, so he's also an attacker and he's charging in. So, wow, I... Kind of like this aggressive play here. Just did not expect it. Uh, Got to be careful though, because they're probably going to lose their cav. But is it worth it? Is it worth lo losing some heavy cav to just one unit of mounted crossbowmen? Probably, probably not. Uh, but let's see. Here's a charge into some crossbowmen. Yeah, if you can get rid of these crossbows, that'd actually be a pretty big win there. Because uh, crossbows, they can get a lot of kills in a siege battle. You know, put them, putting them up on the walls and stuff. But uh, are we going to get any support for these poor crossbows or what? Looks like they're just going to die. They're dying for the greater cause though. Because there's a couple of uh, archer units sitting around firing down at this calf. Oh my god. Okay, the Holy Roman Empire is charging in. Let's slow down here, guys, for a second. And go over, go over these army comps. Alright, so let's look back at the Holy Roman Empire. Commanded by It's Jake Bro. I like his army. He's got the Feudal Knights. He's bringing some Gothic Knights and Zweihander. Very interesting choice. But hey, we get to see him in action. And that's that's pretty sweet. He's got his Pavi's crossbows. And here is his cannon. Looks like he lost a cannon. How'd that happen? I don't know. But he lost it. Now let's go go over and check out the uh, final attacking force here. We've got the Lithuanians commanded by Teutonic Order. What kind of insane world are we living in where the Teutonic Order is commanding Lithuania? What the hell? No, but he's got a nice army. Of course he's bringing the Bahora or however you pronounce it. He's got the Jiltines chosen. Just Lithuania is so, so glorious in this expansion. And I can't wait to see their troops uh, kick some ass, kill some uh, Norwegians and... Uh, some Danes, but uh, yeah, speaking of Norwegians and Danes, let's go ahead and check out their armies here before this battle gets a little too intense. Uh, we've got, of course, Denmark commanded by Night Killer 65 xyz Here's his army bringing the Norse swordsmen. Check them out. Delicious. Nom, nom, nom. Delicious. And then we've got some dismounted feudal knights, and we have some Norse axemen. Oh, I love me some Norse axemen. I love the shields on the back. I just got a thing 
for shields on the back. It's it's definitely a turn on for me. And then over here we've got Norway, commanded by Kouchka23. He's got the Gotland foot Gotland footman, massive swords. Check them out. He's got the serpentine. So a uh, very interesting choice in artillery. I would have gone with the mangonel, but that's just me. Of course, you guys already know that. He's got some shivrick knights and feudal knights. So that's his army, guys. And uh, this battle is is going down. It is going down. And he, Holy Roman Empire is just doing a full-on charge here. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's something different, and I enjoy that. Because um, usually what I do is just fast-forward through the bombardment phase, but it looks like we are not going to have to do that. At least not yet. Uh, he could be just setting up his force here. Uh, they are taking heavy losses from uh, Archer Fire. Yeah, these Norse archers over here firing down great position come on give him a good fire good fire volley there we go and uh he's taking out the gothic knights i don't think i would aim for the gothic knights just because they're not that great of a unit i'd rather go after the uh feudal knights the very very awesome feudal knights okay guys i oh wait hold on hold on we might have uh some action going on here man it's like maze runner over here there's just maze of walls of defense it's crazy absolutely crazy and uh, Holy Roman Empire, it looks like they're going to move out of here. They're taking too many losses from the Archer Fire. I just don't think this is a smart move. I do, you know, tip my hat to a new revolution. But, I, I mean, I tip my hat to him because you know, it's something different. You know, charging in like that, just taking out one choke point, trying to get some kills. I respect it. I just, I don't know if it was worth it. Um, he's still taking heavy losses here. His Gothic Knights just dying left and right. Look at all the dead troops here dead troops everywhere and we have a oh look at this lithuania going after the norse archers he's he uh is sneaking in some bahora bajora bajora bahora i don't know i'm gonna go with bajora sounds less whore you know <laughs> uh, but they're taking out these archers and that's a that's a pretty big win for lithuania taking out archers from defenders that's always a win all right guys i well well, hold on, I, I was thinking about cutting it there, but it looks like we still have more action going on here. This has just got me completely by surprise. We've got the dismounted Halbruder charging in. Here they go, here they go, going after the Viking Raiders. They should win that battle, uh, but we have the rest of the Teutonic Order charging through this choke point. Very lovely, very nice. They, yeah, they're not going to take their time here. I think what they're going to do is it's going to slow down for the second layer wall. Because now that they're set up, they can really position their artillery and bring down this wall. Um, but yeah, we're not really missing much. And by the way, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to turn up my music uh, to 50. Because some of you guys were saying that you want to hear the epic music of Medieval 2. And I don't blame you. It's a very, very awesome soundtrack. Uh, so I'm going to turn it up. Hopefully it's not too loud. Like right now, it's just like blaring in my ear. And I'm just like, ah, oh, it's so damn loud. But if it's not too loud for the video... I will do it uh, because I want to uh, really get the whole medieval experience going. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is skip through and start it back up once the action begins. I think what's going to happen is they're going to have a big old bombardment phase. Now, I will cut it if anything crazy happens, so don't you worry a second. All right, guys, here we go. So you guys know where the Holy Roman Empire was sitting over here. Well, they just knocked down a wall, and then we have a glorious charge from the Forlorn Hope. Forlorn hope going in doing justice upon these Norwegians and these Dane Danish folk uh, But I don't think they're gonna win this battle. They're heavily outnumbered They're just getting cut down by archers from all over these walls That's the most difficult thing about this siege battle is that the walls are just everywhere And there's just archers just sitting everywhere firing without any concern whatsoever And uh, that's what's happening right now these forlorn hope they're surrounded and they're getting cut down by archers, but look at this. It still says victory seems certain for these guys. Will they turn it around? Will they be able to kill all these troops? Oh my god, the volley of trebuchet. That was a beautiful volley. Mm, love me some artillery. Love me some artillery. Uh, we do have the mangonel showing up. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like he's losing some of his crew, though. Don't lose the crew to the mangonel. This is the only mangonel, I swear to god, if it dies without firing a single shot. I'm going to be so sad. But we have the uh, Sword Staff Militia. And we have the Norse Axemen going in there. Oh, there goes another volley. Oh, please get one hit. Oh, yes. He got three 
Zweihander over there. Uh, we have the uh, Pavi's crossbows firing directly at the, the choke point here. I guess he doesn't really care about friendly fire since it's just uh, Forlorn Hope. But it still says victory seems certain, so they're over here kicking ass. Alright guys, sorry about that lag there. A little uh, frame droppage. Framey, ramey droppage. Oh my god. What? Did we miss? Okay, we didn't miss anything. Look at these archers up here, putting down the hurt. Come on, put down that hurt. There you go. Oh yeah, they're putting down the hurt. They're getting some nice kills, but I'm sure they're getting a lot of friendly fire too. Uh, just because there's so many uh, defenders here. There goes another wall. Will we get another infantry charge? We will soon find out. Let's see. Where was that? Somewhere around. Oh, here it is. Lithuania. Are you going to go in? You going in, Lithuania? They got most of their army back here getting in position. They are... They are going in? They are not going in. They are going in. They are they are standing there. Yep, okay. We're just gonna we're gonna go back to this fight because this is the uh, most cinematic fight right now. Oh, I love that that shot there. That was epic looking. It didn't do it didn't do anything, but it was epic looking. Forlorn hope! You fight for your people! You fight for the Empire! Oh, defeat seems certain now. But they went in there, and look at all the dead bodies. That was pretty impressive by the Forlorn Hope. I was not expecting that much that much progress. But here we go. We've got uh, Denmark charging out. Night Killer 65 XYZ. He's charging out of the choke point. He's he wants to face Lithuania. Lithuania. Maybe he's trying to get them when they're not prepared. But I think Lithuania. They're trying to knock down another wall here. We got another section of wall. It's 75% destroyed. Oh man, this is an epic clash. Epic clash of infantry. Denmark's like, we must hold this this choke point. If we lose it, our people will die. Risk your life. Risk your life for your own people. And then we've got the uh, Latvian crossbows firing over, trying to kill the uh, troops that are waiting in reserve. Look at this epic line of troops just waiting. Got the Gotland footmen, Gotland footmen, some Norse swordsmen, feudal knights, a good mix of infantry. Here comes reinforcements. And then here comes the Holy Roman Empire charging in. Let's make sure nothing else is going on. Um, okay, so the Forlorn Hope were officially defeated there. And the defenders are victorious. Uh, wow. What's going on here, Teutonic Order? What are you doing? No! No! Manganel! Manganel! Don't... Don't leave that Manganel like that. How did that get destroyed? How did that happen? I swear to God, I swear if that Manganel doesn't fire any sh any shots, I'm going to rage quit. I'm just going to stop doing commentary, just stop. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that, but I will be really sad. Really, really sad. I hope I'm not being too loud. I'm a little close to my mic. I apologize for that. But look at this huge just... Oh my God. Do not commit your forces like this, guys. This is not a good sign. Uh, well, I guess since both sides are doing it, they're just committing like all of their infantry into one choke point. As a defender, you can keep back the attackers with two units. You don't need to hold any more than just two units. You don't need to send in all your units like this is not good. Where's that Manganel now? Just one shot from the Manganel. Kill these troops. And the Teutonic Order is pouring in now. He's doing the same mistake, but you know, he's making some progress here because the defenders are already chewed up after fighting that Forlorn Hope. So maybe they can break through without any problems. Oh, where's that Manganel? Please don't tell me it's been destroyed. Oh, it looks like it's going to fire. Looks like it's going to fire, guys. But what is it firing at? I don't know. Probably not something epic. It's firing at the Serpentine. That is not epic at all. That is stupid. I'm not watching that. <laughs> Save the Manganel for infantry. Don't go after a small target like the uh, Serpentine. It's not worth it. Tactical Pizza trying his best to charge in here. Uh, the defenders can really take advantage of this. They can just slaughter these troops here. It's never a good decision to... Oh my god! And there goes the general. Just like that. Oh! That's the Serpentine. 
That is the serpentine. There we go. You know what? That's making up for the uh, lack of epic, lack of epicness from the mangonel. Serpentine doing some epic shots there. Finally, that wall is destroyed. Maybe the attackers can flank behind, flank around. Come on. Come on, get a good volley. I just want to see men fly. I want to see the Teutonic Order fly. We are on your top. Oh, they are just, they are perfect for this volley. And that's, that's causing fear in the Teutonic Order. But will he be able to break through still? And Lithuania, they're having a tough time here. I don't know why they're grouping up their forces like this. This is never a good idea, guys. Please learn from this, this mistake. Do not charge in all of your forces. This is a mistake I see all the time with newer players. When you charge in your forces like that, your men do not fight to their best ability. They just, they get tired. Most of them aren't even fighting. They're just kind of running there, running in place. So just send like two or three units max at a choke point. Any more than that is just too much. Just too damn much. Come on, Serpentine. We're waiting. We are waiting for you. In all your glory. We are waiting for the greatest volley. Yes! Oh, fly. Fly, little birds, fly! <laughs> oh. That, and that, oh my god. Look at that chain route just from the Serpentine. That's sad. And they're running the wrong way. So they're going to get cut down from Denmark and Norway. Oh, by the way, guys, I just wanted to say that the money for this game, uh, the attackers had like 40,000 and the defenders had 25,000. So that's a pretty big difference. So even though the Teutonic Order losing a lot of troops there, it's still a very tough road ahead for these defenders. Um, because, well, so far they've lost quite a bit of defenders. Oh, Manganel, Manganel, what are you doing? Why are you firing at your own troops? Oh, you're going after this choke point. Yeah, the Manganel is just not close enough. Sorry, guys. I was hoping the Manganel would get some epic shots, but just not using it properly. You got to try to use it when it's closer to the infantry fight. Bring that Manganel closer. Well, let's watch this epic struggle. Man, I don't know if it's, like, raining or the arrows, like... It's just a mess. You can't tell from rain or arrows. There's just arrows flying everywhere. Oh, God, that guy got stabbed in the back and executed. I love watching the little kill, anim kill animations. <sighs> it's wonderful. And more breaking over here. See, this chain route is not good. Not good. And also with the, the expansions... Uh, the morale is a little weak. I don't know what happened. It's just they made the they made the morale a lot weaker So yeah, I think I think a good upgrade if you're gonna get upgrades on your troops is get uh, Chevrons don't worry about defense and weapon get Chevrons because that will add extra morale morale to your troops. Oh and There goes the gate There goes the gate. Where is this gate? Oh mighty gate? I think it, is this it over here? Yeah, that's it. He needs to send in more infantry. He's got a lot of infantry, so this is, this is still got a lot of time left in this siege battle. The Teutonic Order having an epic duel between the, uh, uh, the auxiliaries here and the Gotland footmen. Or the towers, I guess you could say. Just... Arrows everywhere. Bolts and arrows everywhere. <laughs> Got the general's bodyguard trying to keep back these uh, defenders. The defenders are getting a little confident here, charging out their forces. And look at all the dead Holy Roman Emperor Empire general's bodyguard here. Do you see all their dead horses? That is ridiculous. The struggle that went down over here is just too damn high. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so Norway and Denmark, Denmark, they're reforming their forces. They're getting ready here. And uh, let's see if Lithuania will take advantage of that. Let's see. He can break through over here. Their numbers are weak. Just needs to break through. Teutonic Order still fighting over here. Tactical Pizza. Come on. Get those dismounted Shivrik Knights in the fight. You want to turn this battle around? 
Gotta get into the fight, men. Order Spearman. And they're doing some damage to the defenders. This is why it's really risky, guys, leaving your defenses, because you really expose the units to cav charges and archer fire. And holy friendly fire. These Pavis are just getting a ton of friendly fire. That is that's tragic. That that's a lot of friendly fire. <laughs> Uh, the Manganel is still alive. Uh, I don't know if it still has ammo. I don't think so. Their swords are out. I could be mistaken, but they might have some ammo left. I just hope we get one epic volley from the uh, Manganel. That would be lovely. That really would be lovely. But this fight is dying down. The troops are running low. We do have some reinforcements from the Dismounted Feudal Knights. Norway sending in their reinforcements. And the fight over here is going on. It is going intense. Just send in your Shivrick Knights, man. Oh, I know what he's doing here. He's using his crossbows to weaken their defenses before charging in. A very smart decision there by Teutonic Order. Ah, oh, more breaking from the Holy Roman Empire. And uh, let's get some crossbows over here. Fire at their defenses over there. Here comes more reinforcements, though. The defenders, they just have an endless number of troops. Here's some big chain routes over here. It's just uh, some Norse archers, but it could cause fear with the other men. Oh yeah, these Shivrick Knights. Got a unit of two Shivrick Knights breaking. And uh, the troops over here, they're getting shot at. Got some Norse archers back here trying to keep back the attackers. Fire, men, fire. Shivrick Knight's coming over. He's finally committing some forces over to this flank. I think that's going to be a huge help. If Lithuania can break through here, it's still there's still hope for the attackers. Still hope. These brave Norwegian feudal knights keeping back this mob of attackers. We still have the general's bodyguard from the Teutonic Order charging in. Getting his sword wet. <laughs> Look at this lone crossbow. Mounted crossbows firing at the retreating men. He's like, yeah, get get out of here. Get out of here, you rabble. Peasants. Oh, and man, those Norse, Norse, Norse archers getting a lot of kills on these crossbows. Uh, but it's, that's not a big deal. You know, archers aren't super important as long as you have a couple of them. As long as you uh, get some good volleys off. There we go. Now he's charging forward his crossbows over here. So I really like the tactics here by Lithuania. I think so far he's made the smartest de decisions. You know, taking his time, trying to use his crossbows to weaken the defenses. Weaken the defenses. We have a mid defeat already? Good God. Admit defeat, just like that. From the Holy Roman Empire. Wow, that is tragic. That is really, really tragic. Indeed. Here comes a charge from Norse archers. Looks like they're out of ammo, so they're just trying to get rid of these uh, Lithuanians. And here comes the Axemen. And another mid defeat. Oh my goodness, by the Teutonic Order. Wow, wow, they are giving up the fight already, but there's still a lot of time in this battle. And it's still pretty even. It is still pretty even. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, does, does Lithuania have enough to win this battle? Well, I mean, if you look at his reinforcements here, he's got a decent number of heavy infantry. Um, here we go, great, great decision here. If he wants to win this battle, and there is hope that he could win this battle, he's gotta do smart things like this over and over and over. But this is a uh, this is a battle of crossbowmen. I thought these were fetal knights at first, but they are just crossbows, and it looks like he's just absorbing uh, the ammo there. <sighs> but yeah, no epic shooting of the Manganel. Really makes me sad, but look at this cab charge cav charge right into the general's bodyguard oh man this is a good opportunity to kill the norwegian general oh who is that that was the oh 
the Danish Danish general. So uh, Denmark out of their generals. Their general has been slain. Their troops are breaking. And now they have an opportunity to kill the uh, Norwegian general. So is he in here? Is he in this unit? I do not know. Oh, there he is. He's bloodied up too. That means he's uh, used up a lot of his hit points. So if he can get a good charge on that general, get rid of that general. Jeez. He can uh, make some progress here. Uh, this is a really good site for him right here. Lithuania needs to continue to pursue the enemy and take out very expensive units like these feudal knights. If he can surround those feudal knights. Um, but this is a really great success for Lithuania. And I am rooting for Lithuania just because his teammates admit defeat. I hate when people admit defeat even if they only have archers. Archers can be a huge, huge help in siege battles. So unless it's just obviously over, which this battle is not, um, don't don't admit defeat because you'll be surprised how much you can help your teammates. Uh, but here we go, Shivrick Knights charging into these Gotland footmen. This is going to be pretty good for them. Lithuania the hero. Let's go, Lithuania. Continue your march, your glorious, beautiful march. And what do they have left? Well... We've got some Shivrick Knights by Norway. We've got a Trebuchet. And that's about it, guys. The rest of the troops are very, very depleted. I think at this point, we are going to have a long bombardment phase. So what I'm going to do is just fast forward. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut through, guys. Um, there's still some troops up here, though. I want to see them slaughter them. So we'll just fast forward. Come on, slaughter those troops. They've got those towers activated. Go. Oh, they're going to use their bows. There they go. Okay, now they're coming down. And then we've got the uh, Shivrick Knights coming in to intercept them. And we'll go ahead and watch this fight, guys. Since it's a since it's, since it's a glorious fight. Yeah, break those break those fetal knights. Where are all those arrows coming from? Oh, we've got some archers over here. Some crossbow men. Crossbows aren't that great. In this situation because they're firing in, in like a rainbow style you know that big big arch arc so uh, yeah they're, they're usually not as effective you know you want to use your crossbows like straight forward you know you, the bolts going straight forward they're just way more effective that way it's like kind of how they were built and they're cutting down there we go they break so what we're gonna do here guys is fast forward uh, let me just quickly look around here and make sure that we're not missing anything. So yeah, yeah, we'll just edit through this, guys. And we'll start it back up once Lithuania tries to save the day and charge the keep. Welcome back to the fight, guys. Lithuania breaking through the second layer. We have a huge charge by Norway going out trying to face their opponent. They don't want to give up this position, so they're going to go out and fight. Lithuania trying to quickly pour in their troops and turn this battle around. Are they going to be able to do it? Are they going to have enough troops to do it? I think it's still possible. It is very much possible. He just needs to get his archers up on this wall and fire down at these uh, Norwegian troops in the uh, Norse archers here from Denmark. And we have breaking. This is really, really great. This unit breaks before they even join the battle. And I just wanted to show you guys something hilarious. Look at this. You see this one unit of mounted crossbowmen? They have been running down the retreating forces for the like past 20 minutes. Or not 20 minutes, but the, like the past 10 minutes. So I can't wait to, uh, to check out how many kills that unit has gotten. Uh, but look at this chain route by Denmark. Oh, and the oil coming down. That's not good. That's not good at all. Those peasant archers are going to break from the fight. If they can get some archers up there, they need to quickly get your archers up on this wall. Oh, no. The axemen are getting charged by the general's bodyguard. The music is going crazy. And the fighting is more insane than the music. kind of hard to tell who's who because the colors are so similar but uh, the Lithuanians are the ones with more style but are they gonna win this I don't know guys are they gonna turn this around I mean they still have a lot of reserves but we have some major breaking by Lithuania uh, do you believe guys do you believe you must believe here comes more charging from the general's bodyguard Lithuania needs to take care of this guy 
He's got to take care. If he kills him, this will be a great victory. Oh, look at that, that volley from the crossbows charging into the general's bodyguard. That is, that is awesome. Kill them. Yes, kill that general. You kill him, you win the day. You save the day. Oh, man. And more breaking. Ah, more breaking from the Lithuanian heavy infantry. But there's still a lot of archers. We still have some uh, crossbows. It looks like they're out of ammo. So they've got their shields out. And they're still firing at this general. Desperate fires. Come on, kill that general. Kill him. Uh, not a single arrow. I don't think one arrow hit any of those troops. Here comes more troops. We do have crossbows. Or we have uh, archers up here. Firing down. Looks like they're about to fire down. Oh, come on. Come on, do you guys believe in the Lithuanian power? Everybody pray to the pagan gods. Lithuania, you can do this. Oh, and there goes the volleys from those archers. And here comes a charge from the axemen. Oh, this is such an amazing turnaround. Amazing. No matter what happens here, Lithuania, they're the MVP so far. It doesn't the the amount of progress they made, all their skill and effort and their amazing ability to fight and recover. MVP right here, no matter what happens. Just hats off to uh Teutonic Order there. Doing a great job. I love it. Very, very entertaining. And here comes more archers. Uh, the general, where is that general? I don't, oh, he's over here. They scared him off. I would try to kill him. If you can kill that general, you can win this battle. But it's coming down to very, very small amount of troops here. This is such a close siege battle. And look at this is all they have left. This is it, right here. If they don't hold right here, it's game over. Oh, we got some breaking by the Norse swordsman. That is good, that can cause fear among the ranks. Is it going to be enough, though? I do not know. More breaking up here. They're able to claim the walls for Lithuania. Uh, we still have a very healthy unit of Shivrick Knights. Mm. If I, I, I would try to get those crossbows firing at that unit in reserve. Look at the brave Lithuanians fighting for their people. Fighting for the settlement. Fighting for Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. And here we go, the final charge. The charge of Shivrick Knights. Oh, they're going out, they're leaving. Oh, use your general, Lithuania. Use your general, charge into these Shivrick Knights. They're open, yes, yes. Yes, beautiful. Now, you gotta be careful, you don't wanna lose your general. Oh, they're about to have a general battle. Oh, that charge, oh. Lithuania, poor charge there. But good charge by the uh, Norwegians. And, oh, we got fire arrows coming down now. They're getting desperate. They're trying to break the troops. The troops are breaking. Both sides are breaking. But Lithuania, they still have a couple units holding on for dear life. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. I do not know. And the, the, the generals are, are battling it out. They look exactly identical. Oh, and Lithuanian general, he's kicking ass. Even though they didn't get that good charge off, they might be able to... Oh, kill him. Kill him. Kill that general. Come on. Hold, Lithuania. Hold. And look at the fighting now. It's down to such small numbers. I really think if Lithuania is going to win this battle, it's going to come down to his archers. Kill that general. Oh, he's charging into the archers, guys. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, generals can do a lot of damage to archers. Let's see if he can take them out. Oh, there goes his bodyguard. It's just him. It's just him. He's surrounded. If he escapes here, I'm going to flip my shit. Oh my god, he's escaping. Alright, guys. Time to flip my shit. <laughs> Don't let him escape. Come on. Come on, Lithuania. You can do this. You can do this. 
And the troops are getting cut down by archer fire now. Oh, and the general... Oh. No, kill him. God, he's a slippery bastard. This lone general. Oh my god. And he's gonna get out. He's gonna get out alive. I am so mad. I am so mad right now. <sighs> yeah, but they need to surround these Shivrick Knights and cut them up to pieces. And then out of anger, we have the Lithuanians just firing at to this into this wall here. They're like, damn it, he got away! <laughs> um, archers still up here firing. Lithuania is down to just archers. Archers and his general. We do have some archers over here. Got some Norse archers over here. Oh man, this is so freaking close of a siege battle. Yeah, charge into the backs of those Shivrick Knights. Get them off the battlefield. Oh, he's going in. Oh, charge into those Shivrick Knights. No, charge into someone, Lithuania. Do it for, do it for Lithuania. Why are they, why are they bringing down this wall? Is he going to try to put his archers out here? I don't... Oh, I think he's trying to fire at that serpentine. There we go. Look at that. They're kind of surrounding these uh, Shivrick Knights and trying to bring them down with archer fire. I think that's a very smart decision. Yeah, run those archers away. You outnumber them with the archers. Oh, your general. Don't get them killed. Get them out of there. Get out, general. There we go. And we've got Norway's general. No, that's the Lithuanian general. Yes, kill them. They're they're shaken. They will break. You must believe. You must believe. This is coming down to such small numbers. Oh. They're tired now. They're wavering. Charge in that general. Cut them down. Break. Break. Oh, watch the friendly fire. The friendly fire. Jeez. This is such an amazingly close, epic siege battle. I am enjoying this greatly. There goes more volleys. There's still a lot of time in this battle. Yeah, oh, and they broke. Oh, charging that general. Run them down. You gotta kill those Shivrick Knights. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do now is fast forward a little bit. There he goes. He's running them down. Uh, this this is a very oh and there goes the the general for oh, I wish I didn't fast forward there but it is what it is they killed the general of uh, Norway not that it really matters at this point because he has infinite morale in the town center but this is what it's down to a handful of archers versus a handful of troops from Denmark and Norway we still have the general alive. And he needs to take out the Serpentine. Uh, but we are going to continue to fast forward, guys. Oh. There we go. Get out of there. Alright. Okay, we'll do normal speed now. Because we are going to have some intense fighting. We've got uh, some crossbowmen charging in from Norway. They're getting hit pretty hard by archer fire. And this is risky for them to do this. Because they need every single man to hold this, this position. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward again. Because there is still a lot in this siege battle. I think it's mostly it's going to be uh, Lithuania positioning his troops. He's still trying to take out that Serpentine. He finally took out that unit. And now, now he's just going to sit back and fire. Look at that. And uh, look at Norway back here desperately trying to keep his troops alive. Oh my god. Oh, the trebuchet firing. Come on, men. Just go out there and get some kills. I believe in Lithuania. Do you guys believe too? <laughs> there we go. He's cutting them up. If only he could use this little bridge area right here. But it is protecting his men pretty well. Uh, now we've got the cannon coming into action. Let's see if he can kill those troops back there. He needs to kill those troops in that corner. That's where the heart and soul, the rest of his troops. Oh, good hit by the trebuchet. If he gets a couple more hits like that, he's in trouble. Oh, now he's charging in. Look at this. Charging in. And then they're charging after him. Those Norse archers, they can put up a good fight. And here comes the Shivrick Knights. 
Can that cannon fire? Can that cannon fire? I don't know. Where did the cannon go? I guess they abandoned that plan. I don't know. Oh, Lithuanian general, please be careful. Oh, they got a bunch of kills there. General, please get out. If that general dies, uh, they're definitely screwed. This is so risky. Oh, and they're breaking the troops right there. Oh my god, this is so close. This is so close. Holy crap. This is amazing. This is coming down to such small number of troops. Oh, breaking over here. Get those archers firing. Charge in there. Charge in there. Come on. Oh no. General, do not die. Do not get out. Get out. Oh my god, that was close. Friendly fire almost killing the uh, Lithuanian general. Uh, if they can continue to get their, their good shots off here. The only problem is that they have infinite morale. They need enough troops to take out these uh, Shivrik Knights. And this siege battle is coming to a close. Who will be victorious? We will soon find out. That Lithuanian general though, if he dies, it's over. It is over. Oh, go help your archers over there. Oh, the general is down to just him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, lag. I'm sorry, guys. That was that was vicious. Come on. And there comes a charge from the trebuchet. Yeah, kill these troops. There we go, general. God, what a badass. What a badass. Uh-oh. Here comes a flanking charge from a Norwegian crossbowman. General, I believe. I believe. Do you believe in Santa Claus? That was a weak charge. Oh, man. If only Lithuania had just one more unit of infantry. It doesn't even have to be a, uh, a full unit. It could be half of a unit. Oh, more breaking over here, though. That could be good. And look at that single mounted crossbow unit left fighting. He's he, What a trooper. This guy's just racking up kills. He should be knighted. Doing a great job. And here comes a charge. What a glorious display by all players here. Nice charge there, though. Yes, he's getting a lot of kills. Yes, look at kill after kill. What a badass. And it's coming down to... The, the, the archers are holding. They are holding. This lone crossbow man. Gotta watch out for him, though. It's the infinite morale that might lose them the battle. There we go. Good stab. Kill that motherfucker. Here we go. <laughs> Lithuania, you can win this siege battle single-handedly. Oh no, no. He's got, oh, his troops are breaking. Yep, he's down to just his general. <sighs> Damn. Well, he's gonna have to be able to charge these, these, uh, oh my god, it's like a handful of troops. Get out of there, general. Get out, oh, watch out for that, oh, that Shivrak Knight almost stabbed him. Is it going to be enough, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, General. Yeah, get them outside. They can break that way. Come on. Charging in. Don't let them fire at you. Come on, cut them up. Cut them up. Don't let them fire. Don't let them fire. Oh. No. No. Oh, they missed. They missed. They're terrible. Oh, my God. This is down to, like, what? One, two, three, four, five. Five troops. Five troops. Lithuania, please. For, oh my god. This this could go down as one of the greatest siege battles ever. And whoever sent this in, I will tell you later. But they left the, they left the, uh, they, they named this battle truly epic. And I was, I was like, I don't know. We'll see. But this is truly epic, guys. The general, all by himself. Oh, just getting a kill. God, he's like peasant. Peasant scum and then spit on his body. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, what's going on here? They're down to uh, three troops and this guy over here. Come on, charge in. Don't let them fire. Don't let them fire at you. No! Oh my god! It comes down to a bolt into the heart, and the brave Lithuanian general is dead. And we are done here today, guys. That is the battle. The four units left surviving in this siege battle? That is ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. So, guys. I hope you enjoyed this battle. I don't know why it says 151 remaining. Uh, I, oh, that's right, because you can heal your troops. It, it counts that. But what a battle. This was sent in by Kachka, Kachka23. I know I was rooting for Lithuania the whole time. That's just because he was the underdog. I am very thankful for this battle replay, Kachka. It was beautiful. And uh, don't take offense if I wasn't rooting for you. Again, I just root for the underdog. And MVP over here, the Teutonic or the Lithuanians here, commanded by Teutonic Order, getting 1,205 kills. God, it seems like he got a lot more than that. But that was a beautiful fight there. That was so much fun. And let's look at that mounted crossbow unit. Look how many kills he's got. Oh, 21? That's it? Oh, I thought he got a lot more. That's really not that impressive. Uh, but uh, let's see. What unit got the most kills here? Dismounted Shiver Knights getting 81. 184 by the Serpentine. Well done. Good work with that Serpentine. Some beautiful shots there. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. It was truly, truly epic. Came down to the wire. And I don't know. I don't, the next battle, it better be a good one. Because after, after this siege battle, it's so intense. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.